hey hey welcome to my video i'm tiffany b that is me he 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 that Chanel shit, I like that. Ooh. Got your own ride, I like that. Ooh. Got your mind right, I like that. Ooh. In a fantasy world, I wipe that. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany B, and I'm here to make your day a little bit better. Yes, your girl posted. Today, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a highly requested what's in my stripper bag video so this is my dance bag this is a bag that i now use to bring to work i used to use a different bag i'm gonna show you guys that right now so this is the first bag i would use but as you can see there's a difference between the materials this one is more of a cloth something that can absorb liquid and then this material is more of a shiny material something that liquid would fall off of like so and that is why i now use this double bag as opposed to the other one because that one drinks would spill on it i had a water bottle spill on top of it one time then it was just so hard to clean up all my stuff got so this one also does not hold smells like my old bag does hookah or like this is smell of alcohol or other substances that people may have in the club this bag is from zubo carnival if you guys did not know i played mass in st lucia back in 2019 Okay, so this is how I have everything organized. Start off with the boring stuff. I have some Victoria's Secret. I have some Amber Romance, Victoria's Secret, and some Midnight Flirt. I sold this one for my friend. I also sold this one for my friend too. Nijay, shout out to you for supplying me with some goodies. Next, let's just pull things out. I have some Tylenol because I get headaches and I cannot take, I can't take Motrin and I can't take Excedrin, which sucks because Excedrin is the only thing that works for my headaches, but I have Tylenol. This stuff does not work for me, but I just keep it in my bag because as a woman anyways, you should always carry some type of pain relief on you just in case you get cramps. I keep that in my bag. Okay, now I have my shoes. These are my bad boys. These are my go-to. These are my riders. I'm gonna show you guys another pair of shoes that I have as well. But these are my favorite ones. These are the shoes that I wear all the time. They lace up in the back. So they go around your feet like so. And these are so freaking comfortable. That's why I wear them all the time. I probably should get another pair. After a while, your shoes do start to wear down. You see there's a loss of color on the heel. I'm a size 6. And they fit perfectly. I got them in a size 6. So I would say that they're true to size. What brand are they? They're Pleaser, of course. Pleaser has the best dance shoes and this is not sponsored by the way but they have the best dance shoes i have another pair of pleasure shoes which i'm going to show you guys right now so these are my other pair of pleasure shoes i actually did not buy these to wear in the club I, I bought them to wear more so for fashion as you guys seen that i wore these heels with this outfit i have posted it on my instagram they are really comfortable believe it or not even though they're super high they're not hard to walk in the platforms help the shoe hurt less when you have a shoe with a platform, instead of your foot being down like this, it's more like this. So you're not putting as much strain on your toes and on the front of your foot as you would with a shoe that has no platform, like a regular heel. So these shoes are actually pretty comfortable. That's why girls can walk around for a seven, eight hour shift with these shoes on because it doesn't hurt as much. When you stand in one spot, though, I did notice your feet will hurt more. But if you're moving around, you're not even going to notice it. Yeah, your feet can start to ache inevitably because they are heels at the end of the day. But these shoes are way more comfortable than wearing regular heels with no platform. So these are the two shoes that I have, and they're both by Pleaser. This one's in a size 6.5, the clear one. And the black one is in a size 6. I got a 6.5 in these because this is plastic, and the plastic needs to stretch, or it's going to be uncomfortable, and it can sometimes cut your feet. So I got a size 6.5, and, and it fits perfectly fine. So I'm happy with my decision. I know, I look crazy. <laughs> Okay, so what else is in here? I have another spray from Victoria's Secret. This one is like sparkly. It gives a little bit of shimmer on your body. It doesn't really do much. I like the way it smells. Ooh, okay. So what the hell is this? I have a whole bunch of ripped up dollars wrapped up in here. I know you guys told me that I could take it to the bank and they'll accept the money as long as it's at least half, I think you guys said. But I just never did it. Some of these honestly probably belong together. So I just have ripped up money. And I had this guy tell me one time that ripped money is good luck. So I'm going to keep it around because he has money. So I'm going to trust him and I'm going to believe it's good luck and it's going to bring me millions. And I'm just going to keep it around. So I keep that in my dance bag. I have no intentions of doing anything with this money. I just don't. 
and just leave it in my bag, period. Now, speaking of money, I have a money bag right here, as you guys have seen, this ugly money bag. I always complain about it. I do not like it because I don't like the Machino stuff. I just think it's tacky because it's fake, right? But I don't know. I just think it's tacky. The bag is getting pretty faded, worn out anyways. I need to buy a new one. That's something that, as a dancer, you should be changing up every now and then too because money bags get so dirty. Like, this is probably the dirtiest thing that I have, and that's why I do not keep it in my dance bag. I keep this separately from everything. I do have some money in here. You guys want to do a little fake money count? Some money in here that I didn't count from the other day. I still didn't count. I know that I have at least 200 in here because I know that there's at least like $200 in here because I had one guy hand me the 100 just like this and then I had one guy hand me a $100 bill just like so. This is money that I have from Tuesday or something like that that I just never counted. I barely work anymore. I'm not rushing to count this money. I honestly forgot about it. I keep my money back separate. It's dirty. It's disgusting and I need a new one. You can only wash it so much, it's deteriorating. Look at the strings, like you can tell the string in itself is very thin. Now we're gonna get onto the clothing. I wash all my clothes and I keep it inside of this giant Balenciaga dust bag. And I just keep it inside here. I know some people put their stuff in Ziploc bags and everything like that, but I just never organize mine like that. I honestly don't care. All these clothes are clean. They're washed. That's really all that matters. I'll pull out a couple outfits for you guys to see. I have this one which I haven't worn in years and I'm gonna start wearing it again. I think I'm gonna wear it in one of my upcoming YouTube videos for you guys like another strip club vlog. I have bottoms like these and these are my favorite because they make my figure stand out like you can actually see my hips. These are the ones that I like to wear the most. I have a whole bunch of bottoms just like this i have another one that's just like that this like high waist and it cuts nicely and i have one in pink here's a regular bottom this one's just regular nothing special let me see if i have anything spicy Ooh, this is the bra that i got from forever 21 in my most popular video which is the day in the life of stripper video and i got it from forever 21 it was five dollars so yes forever 21 has club outfit and then i have another high-waisted bottom this is actually from a bathing suit but i got my boots done so the top doesn't fit anymore so I cannot wear the tops so I just took the bottom and wore it to the club so it still works for me period so that's why I keep my outfits in except for this one outfit which I'll show you guys this one outfit right here the pink one which I just got you guys are gonna see this outfit in a couple videos too this dress is beautiful I got it custom made for me it's gorgeous it has cuts it's probably hard to tell what it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna show you guys pictures of like the mannequin and stuff so you guys can see what it looks like when it's on. It's so cute and it fits great. I love the dresses. Oh yeah. That's why I'm starting to get into more dresses so I can show you guys around the club a little bit more. Ooh, I also have some got to be glued, you know, for the wigs. Gotta make sure your lace is laid because sometimes it gets really hot and then your lace on your wig starts to lift up. So I got some got to be glued. This is a travel size one. So this is the stuff that I keep in my bag on a day. This is stuff that's always going to be inside my bag, but I'm going to show you guys what I bring with me to work when I go inside. So, of course, I have to have the wig brush. This is, oh my gosh, I still have the price tag on it. It was a dollar. I got it from Forever 21 a long time ago, and I still have the price tag on it. And I'm going to keep it on there so people know that I know how to spend my money. Then I also keep my little pouch. This is from my Yves Saint Laurent bag. This is my Yves Saint Laurent tote. It just came with this little pouch. That's how I use. So I have some money. You want to count how much money it is? I have some singles. Let's do the singles first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Make it rain. And then I have some 20s. How much is this? This is 100, I think. One, two, three, four, five. So I have $112 in here. I never carry that much money on me when I go to work but I went out so I did bring some money on me but when I go to work I bring my house fee and then I'll bring $20 just in case I make nothing and I need gas or something you know that's like emergency emergency money but I usually never use the emergency money anyways I have a hotel key I have my SBA card you know so when I get pulled over by the cops they don't give me a ticket I have some debit cards which I'm not gonna show you guys I have my ID I look so ugly I'm not gonna show it to you guys I have my ID on me I have a metro card why do I have a metro card I have my keys to my car with the little Guyanese flag on it and a nutmeg to represent Grenada because I'm Guyanese and Grenadian. Ooh, I have rubber bands. I have my lip glosses. Everybody always asks me what I put on my lip and I'm gonna show it to you guys. It is the Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC and then I just put on some EOS lip balm. That's it.
it. That's all I put on my lips whenever I go to work. That's all I have on my lips right now as well. My house keys and I have a lighter. Lighters always come in handy because people always ask me for some. And whenever you give people lighters, they tip you. So I'm just like, okay, you can use my lighter. And I have a breath mint because people come to the clubs and their breath stinks. Then they're all up in your face and then their breath just stinks. Stinks, and I can't take it. So I bring breath mints. I'm just like, oh, you want a mint? Or I, if I have gum, but you want some gum? I'm just offering you something because your breath stinks. It smells very tragic, and I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but I'm aware of it. So I'm just gonna give you a breath mint or a piece of gum just to be friendly and to also help my nostrils out because I can't breathe. But anyways, that is everything that I have in my bag. That's everything that I carry with me to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much because I enjoyed making it for you. And do not forget to leave a special comment down below subscribe to my channel and make sure those notification bells are turned on i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video